Welcome to this lesson on rotations. Rotations spin a shape about a fixed point. A figure can be rotated either clockwise or counterclockwise. And I have these diagrams here for your reference. So clockwise is this way just like the hands of a clock and then counterclockwise goes the opposite direction and these are the abbreviations for clockwise and counterclockwise you'll see those in the practice worksheet all right so let's look at the coordinate rules for rotations there are three coordinate rules for rotations the first one is for 90 degrees clockwise and it's actually the same coordinate rule for 270 degrees counterclockwise. So if I start here at the top of my graph, my coordinate plane, if I go 90 degrees clockwise, that's a quarter turn to the right. And then if I go 270 degrees counterclockwise, so this would be 90, 180, 270, I actually end up in the same position. That's why the coordinate rules are the same. Okay, so the coordinate rule is y negative x. So let's look at a. So point a, the pre-image, is at 2, 3. So if I apply the coordinate rule, this means I want to write the y coordinate first. So for a prime, I'm going to write 3. Then I write the x coordinate, but I change the sign. So negative 2. And that's exactly where a prime is, 3, negative 2. All right, for 180 degrees, and this is for clockwise or counterclockwise because you would land in the same spot either way. For example, if I start at A and I go 90 and then 180 clockwise, it's the same if I went 90 and then 180 counterclockwise. So the rules are the same regardless of which way you go. The rule is negative x, negative y. So let's look at b. So b is at negative 3, 2. So the rule says negative x, negative y. That means to change both signs. So I'm going to change negative 3 to positive 3. I'm going to change positive 2 to negative 2. And that's exactly where b prime is. All right, and then the last one is for 90 degrees counterclockwise, which is the same as 270 clockwise. The rule for this is negative y, x. So let's look at c. Right now, c is at negative 1, negative 4. So if I apply the coordinate rule, I'm going to write the y coordinate first, but I'm going to change the sign, so positive 4. Then I'm going to write the x coordinate, but leave it the same sign, so 4, negative 1. And that's exactly where it is. Okay, so let's look at some more examples. So this first example says write a rule for the transformation. So let's first figure out how many degrees it rotated in which direction. So this is my pre-image, and then this is my image because it has the prime symbols. So anytime you just move one quadrant, that's going to be a 90 degree rotation. I just went one quadrant over, and this is going to be counterclockwise. So I went 90 degrees counterclockwise. And remember, that's actually the same as going 270 clockwise. So this would be 90, 180, 270. So you could also write 270 counterclockwise. It doesn't matter which one you write, you can write both. They're the same coordinate rule. All right, so the rule for that, let's go back and look at our chart for 90 counterclockwise would be this rule here, negative y, x. All right, now you can memorize the coordinate rules or you can look at the graph and see what happens. So right now, S is at 2, 4. 
and s prime is at negative 4, 2. So you can see I wrote the y coordinate first, but I changed the sign, so negative y. Then I wrote the x coordinate, but I left it the same sign. I didn't change anything, so x. All right, let's move on to the next example. This says rotate the figure 90 degrees counterclockwise. So I'm going to start by writing out the coordinates of my pre-image. All right, so J is at negative 4, negative 5. K is at negative 3, negative 1. And L is at negative 1, negative 4. All right, so next I would determine what quadrant my final answer should be in. That way I can make sure my signs are correct when I'm applying the coordinate rule. So if I'm going 90 degrees counterclockwise, that means I'm going to end up here in the fourth quadrant. And the signs for the fourth quadrant are positive, negative. So I know that all of my answers should have these signs. That'll help you check to make sure that you are doing it correctly. Okay, so let's go back and look at the coordinate rule. So for 90 degrees counterclockwise, that would be this rule again, negative y, x. So I'm just going to write it right here for reference. Okay, so that means that j prime, so I'm going to write my y coordinate first, but I want to change the sign to positive. Then I want to write my x coordinate, but I'm going to leave it the same sign. And you can see that checks out for our positive and negative in the fourth quadrant. All right, I'm going to do the same thing for k and for l. So I'm going to write the y coordinate first, but change the sign. Then the x, but leave it the same. Y coordinate, change the sign. X, leave it the same. So all of my x coordinates are positive, all of my y coordinates are negative. So let's graph that now. So 5, negative 4, 1, negative 3, and 4, negative 1. And then I'm going to connect them. And that is your final answer. All right, and then one last example, rotate the figure 180 degrees. All right, so I'm going to follow the same steps. I'm going to write out my coordinates first. So 1, 3, 3, 3, 4, 0, 2, 0. Then I'm going to go back and look at the coordinate rule for 180, which is negative x, negative y. I'm going to write it right here just to make sure. Okay. And again, you want to determine the quadrant that you're going to end up in. And notice it doesn't say clockwise or counterclockwise because for 180 it really doesn't matter. So I'm going to go this way. So 90, 180. So my points should end up here. Now, because these are on an axis, they'll actually end up on an axis as well. Okay, so let me write out my new coordinates. So remember, this just means change both signs. So all of these are positive. I'm basically going to change all of them to negative. I'm not switching any numbers. I'm just changing everything. Zero, you can't change. There we go. And let me erase this so we can graph it. All right, so negative 1, negative 3, negative 3, negative 3, negative 4, 0, negative 2, 0. And notice these were on an axis, so 90, 180, they ended up back on an axis. Okay, you can stop the video now and go ahead and complete your rotations practice and then check it with your teacher.